Do you remember the very first day of high school when you really didn't know anybody and you wanted to fit in with the cool kids? Well, I do, and that's exactly what it was like when I heard the word musicality for the first time. I can remember like it was yesterday. I went to one of those big swing dancing events, looked around, I had a few friends with me, and I thought, man, I need to figure out where the cool kids are. I didn't want to be that awkward guy standing there not knowing anybody. So then I looked around for the people who had the, the really nice hats and the freshest shoes of all time. And I eventually found a group of people standing in a circle and I kind of put myself within that circle like I knew what was going on. And the first thing I heard was, my leather shoes are augmenting the quality of my musicality. And then all I could hear in my mind was, just walk away. And I totally did. <laughs> I scratched my head throughout the entire evening wondering what is musicality? Is it the music? Is it the dancing? I mean, is it like a Samsung phone? And they come out with phones all the time. Every year, like six months, you gotta... I was completely dumbfounded. But I didn't want to be that idiot, so I took more classes and I asked some people. And of course, everyone had a different explanation. It's about how the music, there's different beats and different measures and different hooks. And four eight counts, dancing, you swing out at this point, then you do a circle. It's about doing the syncopations, like the kickball chain swivel. What is musicality? Throughout all of my classes that weekend, I kept hearing people talk about musicality and they all had separate explanations for what it was. I had a whole lot of knowledge in my mind, but there really wasn't a takeaway that I could use practically. Were there some universal concepts that allowed for principled application? But those big words, I should have stayed in that cool circle. You strip things away, we've got some concepts and principles that basically will apply in all situations. But when you think about musicality, you've got to think about two separate areas. Think about the music aspect of musicality but you also have to think about the dance aspect of musicality. When we talk about the dance aspect of musicality, that's more like the response that dancers have and how they want to insert their movements on top of the music. But here's the reality. Musicality is very subjective. The dancer can do whatever they want to the music. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, sometimes. But the majority of the time, that can be the case of Lindy Hop. So if you're wanting to understand how the music structure works, if you're wanting to do a live performance, or even some choreography, and you want to make sure that your movements can actually fit the song that you're dancing to, you've got to understand the structure of musicality. So if you want to learn how to move your body to swing music, hit the jump below and take my class on musicality for swing dancers. Also, if you like what you've seen today, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more information on swing dancing, swing music, and swing history. I will see you in the class below.